What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're starting off today's video a little bit too late. It's 5 o'clock right now, but it feels like it's 10 p.m. The time really goes so fucking fast. Basically this morning I had to get all the materials that we need for this little DIY rust repair on the Integra because could have done it like a long ass time ago, but right now it's causing me a lot of headache because like remember when we installed these wheels, I had this like bumper like sag in here. <laughs> you can literally just like Feel this off boys and it's because of this little quarter panel problem that it's just like rotten it's bubbling and like there's just nothing to hang on to on this little tab also there's like a couple spots that we need to fix like this dent here obviously you guys know what's wrong with the bumper like there's a dent on the fender yeah, there's a whole bunch that we're gonna need to do, so I'm gonna be busy for the weekend. Also, you guys know that this is gonna be like a little budget build, and we're not gonna be doing the same thing that we did with the uh, Civic, which we had to install a new sheet of quarter panels. But I'm really hoping that we have a way around like on the rust spot so that we don't have to weld anything there. We have like a little self-adhesive body patch, um, a couple spreaders, sandpapers. We have a rust converter for the wheel well, as well as a rocker black. Rocker, guard, rubberized, whatever that thing is. We have a primer and a clear coat. You guys might be thinking why we're not putting a base coat on because we're gonna try and wrap this car up. I uh, got the wrap ordered already and uh, should be on the way here. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord that I wake again. I wake again. I pray the Lord that I. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord that I wake again. Bruh, come on. I thought it was just gonna be a bubble. Apparently, it had a hole in it, so I'm probably gonna need to open up the interior and see what's inside there. See what it looks like, but shit. I didn't see that coming. I thought it's just gonna be a surface rust. You only had a one bubble rust here, which is not that very bad, so I just sanded that down. This entire day, I sanded it down. We just gotta put on the bundle there. Going inside the belly with the gun in my hand. Ain't no time for pity, got some thug in the door. Working in the kitchen with the dirt on my hand. God tell me why nobody love me but you. Born inside the belly with the gun in my hand. Ain't no time for pity, got some thug in the door. I've been working and writing, writing and working some more. Searching for truth and truthfully, I'm hurting to know. Alright boys, it's an absolute gorgeous ass day. Rain finally stopped and uh, basically what I finished up overnight is we bonded up every spot that we see uh, it's like dented, especially on the bumper. I don't know what the fuck happened, but water got into it so it's kind of rusting a little bit. But all we'll try and do is basically still fill it up and I might just add some fiberglass resin into it because I still got some little bit left. Uh, yeah, we're basically gonna patch this up. We're just gonna go with the body filler and uh, fill it up as much as we can. Yes, I didn't mention this at all. I uh, took out the side molding because the door dis didn't have them and it's just a plus thing to do because the color that's gonna go on the car is gonna be similar to a Type R. We had to quickly switch over the old front end stuff, the bumper and the fender because I had the fender wrapped up already and the bumper is still working on it but we got a new one because figured the bumper that we had it's just a lot of like work to do and uh, getting a, a decent one for a fair price is not bad so kind of double spend our money there don't do that same shit that I did like don't buy like a really beat up one and just ended up not doing it but yeah just pretty much like give you guys an update on everything uh, basically it'll be sanding again wet sanding it's, it's a lot more sanding I'm not gonna be filming over that because you guys have seen a montage already, so I don't wanna bore you guys up. So it's just, so I'll just see you guys when we wrap this car up. 
Boys, check this out. This is the rag that's gonna go in. Just been prepping it a lot, a lot of sanding. Wet sanding, especially, uh, basically had to take out the tail light, the little middle piece, this guy right here, and the bumper. Because this bumper, we're throwing it away. We don't need that anymore. We got a new one. We got an upgraded one, like the 98201 bumper. But I have wrapped the rear bumper already. It's just, it's shitty and I have to redo it because the key point on wrapping bumpers is like it has to be on the car and I did it while it's off the car and it's like I'm fighting over with the bumper you know what I mean though it, it, it didn't turn out too well and I have to take the wrap off so I was kind of pissed because there were the side molding hole the bondo just literally just popped off boys I just like wet sanding it and it just popped off and fell off inside and uh Got to take out the entire interior for that again, and I don't want to go through that trouble. So I kind of just like punch through the sides, and I hopefully we can just like fill it with a bondo. Uh, just cover it up mostly, but we gotta have to redo this side again. I am just not happy the way this side is turning out. The dent here, you might, you guys might not see it, but I feel it a lot. There's, it's not straight. It's not like you know, it's not completely curved up. Um, there's like a couple low spot, high spot, but you know what? I was just gonna leave it. I tried putting on like a small piece of uh, wrap there, and uh, I didn't really show, so I won't mind that at all. We still got a wet sand this side, and the top already wet sanded. Uh, I'm ready to put on the wrap here. And when I took out like the Acura emblem here, it had like hole in it, so we had to patch that up, put on bondo. We still gotta. You, you can see I put on a putty, so we still gotta sand that still. This one, I won't mind that at all because we're gonna put on a new emblem. boys I don't know what the fuck happened but I was just like stretching the wrap on the corner around the tail light and the thing just like rips apart like what the fuck dude never mind fixed it boys so we got the rip thing here and what I'm gonna try and do now is like I guess it start from the corner since that's the part we're kind of having like big trouble because I mean this part is like straight enough to be on its own like this one this side's not gonna be a problem it's only the this side only problem is now is we have this huge gap that we need to fill so we're gonna be stretching this big <laughs> So I've completely ripped off the wrap on the rear bumper and I'm not gonna do this one yet because we need to put on uh, inlay first before we start wrapping the entire thing and for that I need a knifeless tape and I don't have that <laughs> I've told you guys already and uh, also I want to do the roof first instead of the hood because the hood I mean it, it, the hood is gonna be more easier and uh, we can literally just do it outside and uh, we saw we still gotta do the front bumper as well the side mirrors are almost done I haven't I haven't put it on the video yet Ooh, fuck. <laughs> and uh, the door handles are also done as well um, so we still gotta install that but I'm thinking just taking out the headliner and just because of this nozzle boys gotta get this entire um, roof out of here uh, I don't know how we gonna get it out 
but I guess we'll just gotta get these sun visors down pop this out it should come down maybe I have to take out the little like hand thingy there uh, yes pretty much almost ready to go I haven't tested the windows on these doors yet but we'll get to that wrapping the roof is very straightforward boys it would be easier if you have somebody to kind of like stretch it over and just pull it on each side but on my case I got no one so all I'm gonna do is uh, anchor it on the middle and then stretch it over all the way at the very side so that's what we're gonna be doing also I'm running out of battery so there won't be clip wrapping this hood but you'll see it anyways <laughs> 